Hello and welcome to this programming tutorial for the E-Flight D18 Beechcraft. Today I'll be setting it up with this DX6E transmitter. We'll get started by clicking the scroll wheel and scrolling all the way down to System Setup. Click. This warning lets us know that by proceeding into the next menu, it'll shut off our RF deck, meaning there'll be no signal being sent out from our transmitter. Now that we're in the System Setup menu, let's go down to Model Select and choose a blank model. Model Select, and scroll down to Add New Model and create. Next, let's go down to model name. And starting with the first character, we'll name our model. I'm gonna call it Beechcraft. Now we've got the name set, we can push the back button. And now that we're back on the system setup list, let's scroll down to aircraft type. We'll scroll down to where it says wing normal, click and scroll to the right until we get to one aileron, one flap, and then click to lock it in. One aileron, one flap means we're gonna have one channel set up to control both ailerons and another channel set up to control both flaps. When you have that set, push the back button and push it one more time to go back to the main screen. For the landing gear to respond properly, we need to reverse channel five, the gear channel. Click the scroll wheel and scroll down to servo setup. Click, now scroll to travel and click and scroll to the right until it says reverse. Now we can scroll down to the gear channel, G-E-R, and click to reverse that channel. From here, we'll click the scroll wheel again. Now we're in the function list. And now let's scroll down to DR and Expo to set up our dual rates. The manual suggests we can either use a two position switch or a three position switch for our dual rates. We can have high and low or high, mid and low. For this transmitter, I'm gonna use the C switch, which is a two position switch, so I will only have high and low rates. We'll start with the aileron channel since that's what's already selected. And we'll scroll down to switch to select the switch. Click and scroll to the right until we get to switch C. When the switch is in the zero position, that's our high rate position. So we'll leave that at 100%. For low rates, we'll flip the switch down to the one position for our low rate position and change the rates down to 70%. Now we can see when we flip that C switch back to the zero position and then back down to the one position, we can see our high and low rates for the aileron channel, moving from 100% to 70%. Now we'll do the same for the elevator channel. Scroll back up to aileron, click, and scroll to the right to get to elevator. Scroll down to switch, and we'll set that to switch C. Now we'll flip our rate switch to the low position and set the dual rates to 70%. And we can see that's working as it should. And now we'll do the exact same thing for the rudder channel.
and we can verify that too is working as it should. With our dual rates and expo set up, let's push the back button and go down one to throttle cut. Click throttle cut. Now we'll scroll down to inhibit and click. And here we can choose a switch to act as our throttle cut switch. The H switch is most commonly used for throttle cut and that's the switch I'll be using. We can see that just by selecting a switch to be our throttle cut, it automatically sets the positioning to negative 100%, and that will work just fine. When we flip throttle cut on, we can see our throttle channel is locked at negative 100%. If we bump the throttle up, the throttle channel does not move. This is very important for safety when out at the flying field to help reduce the chance of an accidental throttle up. When we turn throttle cut off, we see we regain full control of the throttle channel with the stick. Now that the throttle cut's set, we can push the back button. Now we're back to the function list. Let's scroll down now to flap system and click. For the flaps, first thing we'll do is select a switch. Scroll down to inhibit and scroll to select a switch. I'll be using the D switch for my flaps. We can see per the manual, position one for the flap value should be set to negative 100% with a 0% elevator mix. So we'll do that now. And we scrolled left to take us all the way to negative 100% and then I clicked to lock it in. Now, position one will stay at 0% on the flap value and we'll add a negative four elevator mix. So click on the elevator mix in the middle there, position one, and we'll scroll to the right to make it negative four. Now position two calls for a flap value of 100% with a negative 7% elevator mix. We'll click and scroll to the right until we get to positive 100%. Click to lock it in. And now we'll get that negative seven on the elevator mix. All right, we can see those are set per the manual. One thing we need to change is the speed. As it's set right now, when we flip the flap switch, our flaps would come down immediately it would be pretty jarring in the air. We wanna slow our flaps down by going down to speed and clicking on where it says norm. And we'll scroll to the right until we get to two seconds. There, now our flaps will come down slowly, just like a scale aircraft. With our flap values set, we can now push the back button twice to return to the main screen. And there we have it. That's the basic programming for the D-18 Beechcraft by E-Flight. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. Hello and welcome to this programming tutorial for the E-Flight D-18 Beechcraft. Today, I'll be programming with this NX6 transmitter but this programming is applicable to all Spectrum NX radios. Let's get started by selecting a brand new model. We'll click the scroll wheel and scroll all the way down to system setup. Click and then scroll down to yes. And now scroll down to model select and click. And scroll all the way down to add new model. And then down to create and click. This gives us a brand new, completely blank model. Let's start by naming the model. Go to model name and click. And we'll start with the first character there and we'll name it Beechcraft. Once we have the model named, we can push the back button
Now let's set up our dual rates. Click the scroll wheel and scroll down to DR and Expo. Click. The manual suggests we can use a two position switch for high and low, or we can utilize a three position switch for high, mid, and low. I'll be using the C switch, which will give me three positions. We can see we're on channel aileron. Let's scroll down to select the switch. Scroll to the right, choose switch C. And with switch C in the zero position, that'll be high rates. So we'll leave the rate at 100%. Scroll up to the rates, click, and scroll left until we get to 70%. Now, we'll flip that C switch down to the two position and set our low rate. Click, and then scroll to the left all the way down to 50%. Now we can see our C switch is controlling our dual rates appropriately for the aileron channel. We have high, mid, and low rates. Now let's do the same for our elevator channel. Scroll up to where it says aileron, click, and scroll to the right to change it to elevator. Again, we'll scroll down to switch and set that on the C switch. And we'll leave the zero position at 100%. We'll flip the switch down to the one position for our mid rates and set that to 70%. Click to lock it in, and then flip the switch down to low rates and set them accordingly. I'll click, scroll to the left, all the way down to 50%. And we can see that's working as it should. And now let's do the same for our rudder channel. And now we've got our dual rate set up for all three channels, all on the C switch. Now we can push the back button, take us back to the function list. In order for our landing gear to work properly, we need to reverse channel five, the gear channel. To do so, let's go to servo setup and click. Now scroll down to the word travel and click. And scroll to the right until we get to reverse. Now we'll scroll down to the gear channel, G-E-R, and we just click on it to reverse the channel. Once that's done, hit the back button. And now we'll scroll down and set up our throttle cut. Scroll down to inhibit, click, and select a switch to act as your throttle cut switch. The H switch is most commonly used for throttle cut, and that's the switch I'll be using. We can see that just by selecting a switch, it automatically sets the position to negative 100%, and that works just fine. When throttle cut is on, we'll see that the throttle channel is locked in at negative 100%. This is very important for safety when out at the field, in case you accidentally bump the throttle stick, there's no chance of an accidental throttle up. Push the back button. Now we'll set up our flaps. We'll start by scrolling all the way down to System Setup. Click Yes. And now scroll down to Aircraft Type. Click. And scroll down to Wing Normal. Click. And scroll to the right until we get to One Aileron, One Flap. And click to lock it in. One aileron, one flap means we're using one channel to control our ailerons and one channel to control our flaps. Push the back button twice to go back to the main screen. And now click the scroll wheel and you'll see we have a new menu option, flap system. 
Let's scroll down to flap system and click. Scroll to inhibit and select a switch to act as your flap switch. The D switch is commonly used for flaps and that's the switch I'll be using. We can see our instructions per the manual. The zero position should have a flap value of negative 100%. So let's set that by clicking on the flap value and scrolling left until we get to negative 100. The elevator mix for position zero should stay at 0%. Now we can see the position one flap value should remain at 0%, while the elevator mix for position one should be negative four. Click on the elevator mix, scroll left until we get to negative four. And now the position two flap value should be set to positive 100%. Click and scroll right until we get to 100%. and then set the elevator mix to negative seven. Now that our flap values are set, let's adjust the speed of our flaps. Scroll down to where it says speed norm, click and scroll to the right until you get to two seconds. There we go, 2.0 seconds. Now our flaps will come down slowly as intended. Now our NX6 is programmed and ready to fly the D18 Beechcraft. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. Hello and welcome to this transmitter programming tutorial for the E-Flight D18 Beechcraft. Today I'll be programming with this IX14 transmitter, but this programming is applicable for any Spectrum IX radio. Let's get started by selecting a new model. First we'll click the little orange marker at the top left hand side of the screen, and then long press proceed. Now we'll click the three dots at the top right, and select add new model. Default, and then airplane. Create. And now we can scroll down to find our model and click on it, and now we can name it. I'll call it Beechcraft. Now that we've got the name punched in, we can go back to Model Utilities and then back again. Now let's set up our dual rates. Click Model Adjust and Dual Rates and Expo. The manual says we can use a two position switch for high and low rates or we can use a three position switch and get high, mid and low rates. I'll be using a three position switch, the C switch, so we can get all three rates. Starting with our aileron channel, the high rates will stay at 100%. Let's select a switch. Switch C is the one I'll be using. And with switch C in the zero position, we'll leave it at 100% for our high rates. I'll flip the switch down to the one position for my mid rates. I'll click the 100% and bring them down to 70. Okay to lock it in. Now I'll flip the C switch down to the two position for our low rates. I'll click the 100% and bring them down to 50% per the manual. We can see this is now working as it should, giving us high rates, mid rates, and low rates. Now let's do the same for the elevator and rudder channels. Click where it says aileron, change to elevator, Select the switch, C switch. We have our high rates at 100%, flip down to the mid rates, and now we can set those to 70%, and then flip down to low rates and set those to 50%. And 
verify they're all working. And now let's do the same for the rudder channel. And there we have our high, mid, and low rates all set up per the manual. Let's push the back button to go back to the model adjust screen and now click on servo setup. In order for our landing gear to respond appropriately, we need to reverse the gear channel. Simply click the switch on the gear channel to reverse it. And now push the back button again to go back to model adjust and click on throttle cut. Select a throttle cut switch. I'll be using the H switch, which is most commonly used as throttle cut. We can see just by selecting the switch, it automatically sets the value to negative 100%, and that works just perfectly for us. We can see that with the throttle cut on, if we move the throttle stick, the throttle channel does not respond. It is locked in at negative 100%. This is very important for safety when out at the flying field. In case you accidentally bump your throttle stick, there's no chance of an accidental throttle up. With the throttle cut set, let's push the back button and back once again. All that's left to do is to set up our flaps. Click Model Setup, and then Aircraft Type. Long push to proceed, and now let's select the wing type, one aileron, one flap. This means we have one channel controlling our ailerons, and another channel controlling our flaps. Now push the back button, and back once again. Now let's go to Model Adjust, and here we have a new menu option, Flap System. Click on that, and now let's choose a switch to control our flaps. The D switch is most commonly used as a flap switch, and that's the one I'll be using. The manual calls for a negative 100% flap value on the zero position, so we can set that, and we'll leave the elevator mix at zero. Position 1 for the flap value will remain at 0% with a negative 4% elevator mix. So we can set that. Position 2 calls for a flap value of 100% with an elevator mix of negative 7. Now our flap values are set, we just need to set the speed of the flaps. Click on speed and bring it up to two seconds. Now our flaps will come down at a more scale pace. Now our IX-14 is programmed and ready for the E-Flight D-18 Beechcraft. Thank you for joining me in this programming tutorial.